it seems like I always have pain, so I can I go in and there's never really a day that I don't have pain. Push out, stay in it. Come on, chin up, let's go. And it's frustrating because you know you want to make it perfect, you want to do it so bad, but sometimes your body just you know can't take it. How much does a dream cost? For Amanda Borden, the price is measured in anguish and pain. So proud of you for hanging in there. One more to go, sweetheart. We got it. One more. We can do it. Take me here, take me there. Take me out at such and such a time. I guess that's what parents are supposed to do, is just do it. I mean, laugh and everything is over with. My parents have been pretty supportive, but they haven't really been getting that much involved. And I like that about my sport, and it's that it's just... Um, me and my coach is getting through this and not any other distractions. Sometimes the price can be more than physical, more than emotional. For Dominique Dawes, the dream has tested the strength of her own family. You know, the ability's there, but just when it comes down to it, a lot of times I don't put it all together. Hopefully one day I'll get it straight. <laughs> Getting it straight, getting it right, getting it perfect. Maybe no one has worked harder than Carrie Strug, but she's always found herself training in the shadow of someone stronger, someone better. Not once, but twice. What of Carrie Strug's dream? I may not go out and win every event, I may not win every competition that I'm in, but at least I've been throwing difficulty in but sometimes the dream really does come true. Shannon Miller is the most successful gymnast in U.S. history, yet she's never won a national championship. Last year, elbow surgery put her title hopes on hold. Now, what do you think her dream is? Tonight, the greatest female gymnasts in America look to fulfill the dream. They compete for the right to call themselves the best all-around gymnast in America. scenic sights of the West, Salt Lake City, Utah, and it is inside the state-of-the-art Delta Center where the elite gymnasts of America have gathered for the 1993 U.S. Gymnastics Championships. Hi, everyone. I'm Dan Hicks, and welcome to the Women's Optionals. Tonight, we will crown the Women's All-Around Champion, and coming up tomorrow on NBC Sports, we will have the individual event finals for you as well. Now, the 1996 Summer Olympic Games in Atlanta are three years down the road but there is a possibility that we will be seeing some of the same faces there that we see here tonight. Now, the staying power of an Olympic athlete is always questioned, and never more so than at the very tender age that these gymnasts are competing at. And we welcome our expert analyst, Tim Dackett. What about the staying power of the world champion, Shannon Miller, coming off the great performance in Barcelona? She has won every event she has entered, but she is still chasing the national title. Well, that's right, Dan. You know, basically, Shannon Miller has kind of gone backwards when you look at traditional gymnastics. Usually you win the national championships, and then you go to the Worlds and hopefully pick up a title and then maybe an Olympic medal. Well, she is chasing this national title, and I met with her just the other day, and she said she wants this one, and she wants it bad. Well, there's no question she has all the momentum, but have her closest pursuers been able to keep up with her? Well, you know, in, in reality, I do not think that Shannon Miller can be beat in this competition. She has to make a mistake for somebody else to capitalize. All right, well, the competition is split up into two nights. 30% of the scores come from the compulsories. 70% come from the optionals, and coming into tonight's optionals, the lead is Shannon Miller over her teammate, Carrie Strug, but injury's always a factor in this sport of gymnastics, and with more on the physical condition of tonight's favorite, let's go down to the floor and join Hannah Storm. Well, Dan, if you recall, last year, Shannon Miller had to leave in the middle of this competition because she wasn't fully recovered from elbow surgery, and this year 
figures she has a different kind of injury to deal with here at the Nationals. She's been suffering from a lower back sprain since January, and her trainer, Mark Cranston, told me today that her condition is much better than it was a few weeks ago at the Olympic Festival, but she still has quite a bit of treatment to undergo. Soft tissue mobilization, massage, anti-inflammatory medication, and listen to her schedule today. She began treatment at 7.30 this morning. She had more at 1.30, again at 4.30, and she'll be treated for the back again after competition tonight. Shannon did admit to me that she is competing in pain here at the Nationals, but she's going to try to gut it out through the weekend because she knows that next week she's on vacation and she can rest that back. Dan? All right, Hannah, thank you. Sore back and all. They are all chasing Shannon Miller tonight, including right, her teammate Carrie you know. Strug, and both Carrie Strug step. and Shannon right, Miller, nice coached by Steve here, Nuno. Right? And Amanda Borden, she burst onto the national scene last year. It was her very first competition at the national level. She is looking to move up this year. And so is Dominique Dawes, who enjoyed an extremely successful world championships earlier this year. But this is the first of four right, apparatus Carrie. tonight. And the first to the bars is Carrie Strug. Swing it, Carrie. Let's go. Confidence is the key factor for this young lady. You'll hear Coach Nuno through the entire competition, building her up. The trickiest part of any bar routine are the complicated release moves. Here's one, right on. Perfect form, extended tight legs. It's a great exercise so far. Gymnastics hasn't changed. You got to do the big dismount and stick it. Oh, just a small hop on the landing. But a great start. All right. All right. Good job. All right. Nice bar routine. Carrie Strug was the U.S. Olympic Festival champion in this event and seems to be on top of her game again tonight. This is her dismount here, a full twisting double somersault. The only very visible flaw in the exercise right here. Look, she'll slide her feet back. And that's going to cost her about a tenth of a point. And there is the score for Carrie Strug at 9.85. Not a bad score at all to begin the evening. And now Dominique Dawes prepares for her bar routine. Once again, Dominique needs to get off to a very strong start. Through some of the warm-up today, she was actually in the auxiliary gym. Maybe not wanting to see the competitors focus on our own gymnastics. The music you hear in the background is from the floor exercise as there are four events happening simultaneously right now. Same one we saw from Carrie Strug, full twisting double and a pretty good landing. Don't you ever doubt yourself. You are too good to doubt yourself. Encouraging words from her coach Kelly Hill. Dominique has been training with her since she was six years old. And here's her dismount, the same one as I said we saw from Carrie Strug. Full twisting double, just a little bit of ragged in the form area. As you can see, the knees coming apart, but a pretty good landing. This is a gymnast on the rise. Fourth in the all-around at the recent World Championships. This after finishing 26th all around in Barcelona. And there's the score for Dominique Dawes at 9.825. Excellent score for Dominique as Shannon Miller prepares. You know, just moments ago, we saw Shannon go through a perfect bar routine in the one-touch warm-up. You can watch her all day long and you see no form deductions. It's remarkable. Now watch this. Two releases in a row, full over the top right into a back with a half twist catch. Now she's had some problems with her dismount lately. It's a double laid out somersault. Oh, she lets go early. Small hop on the landing, but a great recovery. All right, all right. Nice job, all right. Super, super. Just a little hair of a hop on that dismount, you know? Good job. Coach nice Nuno good. pointing out the little hop on the landing. Actually, it's a technical error, and we'll see we'll see why right here. She just lets go of the bar a little too soon, kind of pings off the bar, doesn't have quite enough rotation to pull that around, and has to 
take that small hop forward. Shannon Miller, the second U.S. Huh? gymnast to win the Worlds. Of course, the other was Jim Zemeskel. And there is the score for Shannon Miller on the uneven bars, a 9.9. .9. Excellent start for the world champion trying to win her first national title. And now Amanda Borden, not just a top 10 gymnast, looking to move into the top five and stay there. Her coach, Mary Lee Tracy, told me earlier that it is such a different mindset trying to be in the top five as opposed to just another athlete out on the floor. Let's see how she handles the pressure. Her second release skill coming here. Right on. Very uncharacteristic dismount. She'll flip twice forwards. Oh, a little too long. She holds on too long. Touches out with both hands, and that is a five-tenth deduction. And that will drop her in the competition. You see Mary Lee Tracy there, and on the left is Kevin Brown. All we saw was Mary Lee Tracy last year. This is a new coaching situation for Amanda this year. Kevin Brown moving up to Cincinnati. Formerly coached uh, great gymnast Brandy Johnson. Now here is the problem. Double front somersault, very difficult dismount. She just holds onto her tuck a little bit too long, too much rotation. Hands and actually knees go down also. That's a huge deduction. So Amanda Borden right. was in third place, but with that 9.125 score, that will drop her into fourth place. But plenty of gymnastics to come here from Salt Lake City. And we welcome you back to the Delta Center in Salt Lake City, Utah. The U.S. Gymnastics Championships continue, and perhaps some future champion gymnasts watching in the crowd. There is the world champion, Shannon Miller, and the lead continues to grow for Shannon Miller. And this lead already a very large one by gymnastics standards. Shannon Miller way out in front, and as we said before, it's going to take a mistake by her to open the door for somebody else. So here is Kerry Strug currently in second place. Needs a very strong beam routine to put some pressure on Shannon Miller. And Kerry Strug used to train with Bella Caroli, but switched to Steve Nuno when Bella retired. And Kerry's parents did have some mixed feelings about joining up with Nuno. Maybe she wouldn't get the full training attention because of Shannon Miller there. Well, she, of course, well accustomed to being in the shadows, training alongside world champion Kim Zemesco at Bella Caroli's. This event nerve-wracking. The beam is only four inches wide. Kerry Strug in the past has challenged the Mescal, almost taken the title. Right here, her first major tumbling pass. This is critical. Layout, layout. Oh, she's off. That, of course, a five-tenth deduction when you fall off the apparatus. That is certainly going to take her right out of second place and basically dash her hopes of an all-around title here at the national championships. So hard to get back on track after a major mistake like that. Her dismount, it's a double back somersault. Oh, a, <laughs> a few hops there. Maybe just a lapse in concentration. And as we said, five tenths for falling off the apparatus. That is going to hurt a lot. So, Kerry Strug will fall from second place. And after finishing second to Kim Zemeskel in last year's U.S. Gymnastics Championship, hopes of a title this year fallen by the wayside right here at the balance beam. Now, let's see if we can tell what goes wrong. Shoulders and hips should remain totally straight over the beam. A little bit off to the left-hand side there, and she just cannot... Get it back on track. She almost jumps back up there so quickly as to maybe fool herself that she didn't actually fall off. You can't hang your head. This is no time. Not a good score at all. Move on. You're going to have to pick up points there. You're going to have to really have performance. Steve Nuno reminding Kerry Strug that the competition is not over. 
You know, you're getting a little too in, in, involved. Just do what you do in practice every day, every day, okay? And I want a powerful, powerful landings on every, every tumbling pass. She said it herself okay? earlier. She has the ability. She just has to perform. Dawes with a chance to move into second place. She began the night in fourth place, moved into third, and now with a chance to move up even further. Dominique has one of the most dynamic balance beam routines in the world. Silver medalist on this event at the World Championships. You'll see a tremendous amount of leaps being done. The new rules encourage that highly. Watch this now. Flip-flop to three layouts in a row. Oh! Amazing she can even fit it on that balance beam. talked about the tremendous difficulty this young lady has in her beam routine. And at this point, she is getting set, focused, for one of the most difficult dismount sequences being done in the world. Watch this. Two flip-flops to a full twisting double somersault. Oh, and she just rocks the landing. Well, her nickname is Awesome Dawson, and through two apparatuses tonight, she's been just that. Beautiful. Feel good? Yes. Coach Kelly Hill calls her beam routine, her standby, along with her floor exercise. She seemed very comfortable up there tonight. I wish you were at all my knees. Watch this. Few in the world actually tumble with power on the beam. No holding back, and she just booms this full twisting double somersault and watch this smash bang stick it on the landing and Tim by the looks of that routine I would say that Dominique Dawes is assured of second place right now I would say so most definitely there it is the score a 9.675 for Dominique Dawes continuing to move up notch by notch in the standings when we come back Shannon Miller takes to the beam stay with us more gymnastics coming up Well, there is Carrie Strug receiving some medical attention. We've been told that she suffered a bruised knee while warming up for her beam routine, but it's nothing serious, and she will continue the competition. Carrie Strug, a former pupil of the great coach Bella Caroli, who retired after the Olympics in Barcelona. She and the rest of the gymnasts certainly missing him. But Bella may have retired, but the intensity is definitely still there. In 92, the fire was not burning, and I could not ignite the fire. And I tried, and honestly tried. I could not ignite the fire. The fire was not there. I looked around, and uh, I did not find those challenging coaches, the ones who were fired up in the past, the ones who came, well, tomorrow we're going to go off, we're going to fight. They were beggars. They were all begging for a job, all begging for an opportunity to take, all them talking about leading their own countries. Then I looked out on the kids. The questions what I heard on and on about agents, of the qualification of the agents, the ability of the agents, managers, that was the prime, primary interest. Not the possibility of becoming an Olympic champion. There's always secondary concerns. And I thought, what's going on? Is something wrong with me? Well, the world changes, and I think it's good. Come on, guys. Come on. Woo, woo, woo. Good, good. You want some, Daisy, too? No, good. All right. So soured by his Olympic right. experience, Bella Caroli come says on, he boys. hasn't come set on. foot in a gym since the 92 games, but that may change. I still feel like I'm too early and I'm too young to retire <laughs> and I still uh, have something uh, 
uh, from the fire which was burning for so long time. And now, when I'm not in competitive arena, I still feel like I have to do it. The challenge is still there. But I want to start something from brand new, from the, from the scratch, and build, as I believe, gymnastic gonna go from now on. Little kids, the ones who are not uh, doing uh, gymnastics for money and fortune, the ones who are gonna do gymnastics again for the fame and the glory of gymnastics, maybe they will not be ready for 96. But sure, they're gonna be around on the year 2000. It's gonna be another memorable Olympic Games. But guys, don't get relaxed. I'll be back. Well, do you think Steve Nuno was listening? Nuno worked under Bella Caroli years ago and now says, this is my time, my time in the spotlight. And what else is missing is the constant battling between Bella Caroli and Steve Nuno. It made both of them and their athletes better. And Shannon Miller, a big reason why Steve Nuno is in the spotlight while Bella Caroli had Kim Zameskel. It's now Steve Nuno who has the world champion. And Shannon Miller is next on the beam. And the thing you love about Shannon Miller is she does not hold back from start to finish. Watch the mount. She'll do a front flip onto the beam. She really prides herself on the difficulty level that she has. And we saw the same basic pass from Dominique Dawes. Flip-flop to three layout step-outs. Third one. Oh, just the slightest of a balance check there. She's so perfect, even the smallest mistake. And look at that. That is her trick right there. That is awesome. Dismount, full twisting double somersault, and once again a slight hop on the landing. Well, Shannon Miller admits she is a perfectionist. But you can see by the expression on her face, Tim, she wasn't all too happy with that routine. Well, Steve Nuno talking about the hop, the hop, Shannon. You know, I thought she had the dismount, she kind of just stood up a little too quickly. But, but watch this skill right here. She invented this herself. She'll dive, quarter turn, and she pirouettes again, landing in a handstand. Can't tell you how difficult that is. Remember, four inches wide, people. Four inches wide. And the score for Shannon Miller at 9.875. So not perfection, but still a score that strengthens her first place standing in this women's all-around competition. And next, Amanda Borden needing a 9.575 to move into third place. You don't quite see the same level of confidence from Amanda. She's a great athlete, but she just doesn't have the experience of being up in the top ranks. off the beam. Holds on to that one though. And another balance check right there. She's maybe a little bit too careful. Maybe questioning some of her moves a little bit too much. That one right on though.
basically back on track with this exercise. Her dismount, that bell telling her she's got to get off the beam. She's a little crooked and big step forward on that landing. And that could cost Amanda Borden a chance to move into third place. You heard the comment from our coach, Mary Lee Tracy, who has picked up a few gray hairs through the years coaching Amanda. Everything seems like such a huge relief after Amanda completes her routine. Exactly. And we'll look at one of the problems right here. She is way crooked on this. Look at how far off to the side she is, and she still keeps going and way under on the dismount. Thank goodness she was crooked. I think she'd have gone right into the beam there. So we will await the score of Amanda Borden at 9.35. You and you and Sam, just you. All right. So when we return to the Delta Center, Dominique Dawes trying to chase down Shannon Miller. She'll be on the floor exercise when we come back. 16-year-old Dominique Dawes enjoying an outstanding U.S. Gymnastics Championships, but she still trails Shannon Miller in the standings after two rotations. And Shannon just making her lead almost impossible to catch, over a point ahead of the field. That is huge by gymnastics standards. Well, Dominique admits she thinks about Atlanta in 96, but the number one priority right now is to get a college scholarship. And she says that she knows she needs to train harder. Shannon Miller carries struggle. They work a little bit more intensely, and Kelly Hill says it's a priority for them. Kelly has served as Dominique's surrogate mom over the years, even paid for her medical bills last year after Dominique was placed in a cast of both ankles after the Olympics. Kelly Hill okay. talking about the tumbling. One thing you always get from Dominique Dawes is the big trick, and lots of them. Her first tumbling sequence, this is incredible. She tells me she's dizzy after she's done with this one. Watch this. She'll do a full twist, get her speed back up again. Double full in the air, and she'll reverse directions. No wonder her ankles hurt. <laughs> And one more time, two and a half twist, and boom, right into a front flip. It's incredible. Dominique Dawes always so electric on the floor exercise, but she said she's been working on this less cheery routine. But it still turns on the crowd. And a 9.80 for Dominique Dawes, who seems to strengthen her hold on second place. But Dominique Dawes still trailing the leader, Shannon Miller, getting ready for the floor exercise. And she's changed her routine a bit in this area, Tim. Well, actually, she's upgraded some of the difficulty. As we've reported, her back has been bothering her. And she had to take out 
a few of the major tumbling passes, but they're all back in, Coach Nuno says, for this competition. Miller can turn on the crowd too, and she's done that in the oh, four exercise. Oh, there, they're jumpy, a little hopping. Steve okay. Nuno, of all course, right. nice complaining thing. about all the hopping around again from Shannon Miller. She's got to stick those landings a little bit cleaner. New tumbling pass for Shannon Miller. She'll do three whips right into a double full to a punch front. Shades of Kim Zameskel right here. And as Dominique did, a double twist, change directions, boom, punch a front. Wow. Well, Shannon Miller may be just slightly off her game tonight, Tim, but the score of 9.80 just solidifies her in first place even stronger. More gymnastics in a moment. Well, one more event for Shannon Miller, seemingly on her way to her first U.S. Gymnastics Championships, but plenty of gymnastics left. And there is Amanda Borden, who earned the nickname Pepsodent with that cute smile, but we just haven't seen much of that smile, especially tonight. Well, you know, Dan, not because she's not doing well, but so much is expected of this young lady right now, and she is got her game face on. Coaches said she used to cry a lot in the gym, but she has certainly matured. Steps out of bounds, that's a tenth of a point.
Well, how does Amanda Borden spell relief? Double layout was beautiful. You know you stepped out of bounds, but it was beautiful. It was really nice. Very good exercise for Amanda Borden. Finished fifth in this all-around competition last year, fourth in the floor exercise last year, and trying to make the next move up into the elite gymnastics echelon. Here her mount. The best I've seen her perform this usually lacks a little bit of power, doesn't have enough rotation. This time, a little bit too much, pulls her legs a little too hard, and steps back out of bounds. Well, Amanda says the less pressure she puts on herself, the better she does. And the score for Amanda Borden, 9.55. She was in fourth place. She was trying to move into third place to push Kerry Strug. Get a little, uh, we're looking for a smile from Kerry Strug. I know you're a little disappointed at what's happening, but here we've got to pull it up. So we really have to look like you're ready to do it. We're going to give you the score if they look like, if you look like you want it. That's right. You can't look so serious. Let's really get a good performance. You trained hard for this meet. Let's let's put this one to bed, okay? Got the time. Got the time. Steve Nuno spending just as much time being a psychologist as a coach tonight, especially right. with Kerry. Let's make sure you're rested before the second pass. Important. Okay, Constantly rested, building her right up. up. She can do it in practice. Let's get that second. She's got to do it here. There. Okay. All right. Now show it off. Let's see a smile from Kerry Strug here. All right. <laughs> Let's get it. I don't know if we'll see that smile here, Dan. And I have a feeling it will depend on her success in this floor exercise. Been a disappointing night for Kerry Strug, falling off the beam early in the competition. She wanted to put more pressure on Shannon Miller. It just has not worked out. Steve Nuno seems job. to like it. All right. there they go. And believe me, those are big smiles from Gary Strug. She's obviously very pleased with that exercise. She was in second after the compulsories coming into the night's optionals, which counts 70% of the all-around score, but she lost ground early in tonight's competition. And is still in third place, but it's been an uphill battle. It's her first tumbling pass. Full twisting double somersault. Only problem is she'll spread her legs in the air just a little bit and land. Not quite rotated enough. Have to take a little bit of a step. Look at you see the spread of the legs there and steps forward just a little bit. Her coach Steve Duno says the best attribute Carrie Strug has anyway. is how hard she trains. A 9.675 on the floor exercise. But the night has belonged to her rival Shannon Miller who goes for her first U.S. Gymnastics Championship when we come back. And the standings after three rotations, Shannon Miller with a commanding lead. She has virtually clinched her first national title. Especially finishing on this event vault is so easy for her. She brought home the silver medal at the Olympics on this particular event, where she clinched that in the all round. The landing though, gotta stick it. Oh, just a slight hop, but 
That certainly is going to be enough for Shannon Miller to clinch her first ever national all-round title. You had a little bit, you were a little on the horse too long. I want to see you pop right up off that horse so it comes off more vertical. And that doesn't height. stop Steve Nuno okay. for striving so in and really for perfection. And Shannon horse, Miller let's stick that landing. It was a 4.0 GPA. That was what perfection's okay. all about. Watch this. This is exactly what Steve's talking about. She's a little sluggish on the horse here. Bent elbows. It doesn't rebound quite as well as she can, so the slight hop occurs. Well, there is the score for the first fall at 9.725, so Shannon Miller has indeed clinched her first U.S. Gymnastics Championship, but she's not quite through. The women perform two vaults. They take the highest of the two scores, so she has a chance to do even better with her second vault. Let's see if she can make the correction Coach Nuno was speaking about. Be a little bit quicker, more powerful, right off of the horse. Oh, way better vault. Uh, still a small hop on the landing, though. That was a much better vault. Maybe the double full for tomorrow. That was a great vault. There the double pulls in there. For Steve the Nuno has himself okay. a national champion. Excellent me. You're the, you're the president. <laughs> the president. Well, let's check out El Presidente here. Like I said, better vault. She's much quicker off the horse. Vault goes a lot higher, but still can't rock that landing. Small hop. Well, if Shannon Miller's the president, this has been a landslide, Tim. <laughs> The world champion, the successful Olympics in Barcelona. This really the only title left off her resume and the 9.750 in the second vault. Meanwhile, the night has been much different for Kerry Strug and really in the vault trying to salvage something here. A new vault for Kerry Strug here. Oh, and big problems. Very, very slow off of the horse. Three steps back, almost sits down. Slowed your run down, then you had a little crunch on the horse. It's got to be a Kerry Strug is currently trying to hold on okay. to third that place. Works. And a performance like this, of course, not what either her or Coach Nuno looking for. Very sluggish, a little bent arms on the horse. Nowhere near enough rotations. And look at three steps back. Almost sits down, and that would have been a huge deduction. So you can bet that Kerry Strug would like to improve on the first vault. And there is the score, a 9.575. She would love to end the night on a positive note. Come on now. Come on, Gary, do the vault. Just do the vault. Just do what you can do. Coach Nuno saying it over and over again to Kerry Strug all evening long. Oh. 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 That's how you do it. All right. And yeah. that is a very sincere right. smile from Carrie Strug. Oh. Obviously a much better vault. Much more dynamic off of the horse. Everything just seems to click on this one. Watch this. She bounces off of the horse. And bam, she just rocks that landing. And look at the smile. Carrie Strug. A sense of relief for Carrie Strug. And that may just have been the best vault we've seen all night, Tim. 9.925, that's the best score we've seen on any event. Carrie Strug finishing real strong. And that final vault enables Carrie Strug to finish in third place in the women's all-around standings. Dominique Dawes finishes in second place, but the champion is Shannon Miller, and she's down on the floor with our Hannah Storm. Thanks, Dan. Shannon, you had a terrific Olympics. You won the Worlds, but finally you have this elusive national title. What does it mean to you? Um, well, it's really exciting because last year I wasn't able to finish the meet because of my elbow. And this year I've been able to compete all eight events and do great on them. Well, you did great despite uh, battling another injury. You've been suffering from that lower back strain. Did that bother you at all tonight? Um, not too much. I mean, with the adrenaline flow, you don't notice it much. Your mind's on other things. 
Well, your mind wasn't on your competitors for too long because they weren't pushing you much. A lot of mistakes from your closest competitors early. Did that affect you in any way? Um, I really didn't see many of them, so I wasn't really sure. I just knew that I had to hit my routines to do well. Well, tomorrow you have the chance to make history. Nobody's ever won the individual all-around and all four events. Now, in light of the way you competed tonight, what do you have to do to win that tomorrow? Um, mainly just do what I did tonight, hit my routines, and also clean up my landings and not take any hops or steps on them. So you think you can do it? I hope so. All right, great, Shannon. Back to you, Dan. Thank you, Hannah. The Olympic medals, the world championship, and now the national title.